Welcome to our lecture online and our next method to solve quadratic equations is using the quadratic formula. And just as a, as a reminder, let's say we have the general form of ax squared plus bx plus c. The variable x can be found by taking the negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. So let's try that for these two examples. Our first example right here, notice that a would be 1, b is negative 4, and c is 3. So therefore, x is equal to minus b, which is the negative of the negative 4, which is 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 3, all divided by 2a, 2 times 1. All right, let's simplify that and see what that is equal to. This is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 12, all divided by 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 divided by 2, which is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 1, which is equal to, when we add, we get 3, or when we subtract, we get 1. So x is equal to 3 or 1 is the solution to this quadratic equation. Let's try it for that example right there. So here we can say that x is equal to minus b, which is 12, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 12 squared. It doesn't matter if it's negative since we're squaring it anyway. Minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 18. And the whole thing is divided by 2 times a, which is 2. So simplifying, x is equal to 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 4 times 18, that would be 72, all divided by 2. So simplifying that more is x equals 12 plus or minus the square root of 72 divided by 2. Let's see here, 72, we can divide 72 by 4 to get 18. Uh, that's probably it. So x is equal to 12 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 18 divided by 2. And of course, we can take the square root of 4. So x is equal to 12 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 18 divided by 2. Divide 2 in that, we get x is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of 18. And can we simplify the square root of 18 anymore? Yes, we can, because we can write it like this. This is equal to 6 plus or minus the square root of uh, 9 times 2. And of course, the square root of 9 is 3. So finally, let me give you some more room here. We can say that x is equal to 6 plus or minus 3 times the square root of 2. And that is about as good as we can write it. So that would be our final answer for that particular problem. The reason why the quadratic formula works well is when we can't factor it. In this particular example, we could have easily factored this problem and saved ourselves a little bit of time. But in that case, we can't factor the problem, and so our best bet then is the quadratic formula to come up with the correct result. And that is how we do that. Let me get out of the way.